and Selam. Selam means hello in Turkish. My name is Enes Ertuğrul uh, and I am founder of Optimum Theme, a Joomla template club, which is uh, a new template club. And also I have a web design company in Turkey uh, and we work with Joomla since 2008. Also, we have a new baby project. If you are interested in e-commerce, we have a uh, Arasta brand and it's fully open source um, free e-commerce solution and standalone. Also you can reach me from Optimum Theme Twitter account and also NS Group. Now in this session uh, I will talk about how to create a Joomla template from scratch with some advanced features. And if first let's first answer the question why to create your own template. First of all, you may want to set yourself free because there are lots of so, uh, solutions and options in the market, but sometimes they don't meet with your requirements. And sometimes you would like to see your limitations if you have some, if you have some CSS knowledge, PHP knowledge, etc. And sometimes you would like to keep it simple because uh, the templates you will find in the markets are very full of, full, um, full of advanced features, lots of uh, libraries, jQuery, JavaScript, etc. And if you don't use them, then uh, it is useless that if you load them on your template. Uh, uniqueness, uh, as a template club owner, I have to say that we provide each month templates, but um, everyone, everyone can buy it, everyone, everyone can use it on their website. So if you need a unique solution for your website, uh, it's better to learn how to create your own template. Uh, as I said, if you have CSS knowledge, a little bit PHP, JavaScript, jQuery, etc., at no cost you can create your own template. It's good. And sometimes your customers come to you with a predefined design, so they don't prefer a template already existed. So uh, to convert your design from pre PSD to Joomla, you, you, you need to learn how to create your template. So let's start to create our template. Uh, at the left side, you will see a standard Joomla installation. We have our Joomla default templates. Uh, I will show you how to create on Joomla installation. So I will create a new folder and name it as you want. I will name it test. And then I will create a file named index.php. Sorry. I will create another file named template details XML. These are the two files required for a basic Joomla template. Currently, we have, we have a Joomla template, that's all. So, what we should use in these files? First of all, I will copy from my uh, work to display it easily. Okay. Yes, here is the XML file, which is required for a Joomla template, because we register our template via this file. And here is the extension tag and version which describes Joomla version and as an extension we are creating a template so as type we define template and this is a front-end template not admin one so we define site and as methods uh, you can uh, specify install or upgrade but upgrade is better I don't want to go more de into details and you give your template and name, creation date, author, author email, author URL, and copyright information, license information, and the version. If you update uh, your template in the, in the future, then you can change this information. And finally, the description. The description. And then we have files text here. Uh, you need to register your files and folders from here. Currently, we have only 
index PHP and template details XML file. So currently we only can uh, specify these two files here. But I will create more files and folders to make it more advanced feature to uh, make it easy to work, categorized. I will have some other folders and uh, files. So if you have folder, you can easily uh, specify your folders between folder tags. If you have files, you can specify them within the file name tags. And positions. These positions, positions are all, all up to you. You can define your module positions between position tags and you can name it whatever you want. And finally, configs. These configs are, let's go to template manager. Before that, let's, um, sorry. Let's install our template because we created the folders, but we didn't install it yet. So from extension manager, go to discover, click on discover button. And as you can see here is our template with the information we, did, we provided in template details XML file. And let's install it. Yes, we have our template installed. And here it is. Let's make it default and refresh our page. We have nothing, of course. Now, if you check template settings, here we have a tab. And if you have a language file, you can uh, change this string within your native language. And here is we have uh, configurations and options for the template. You can define those options uh, from here within the config text. There are fields, as you can see here, uh, where you can find those fields. You can search on the docs.joomla.org for form fields, and you will find all available fields here. So, for example, for, for this text field, you can go to docs.joomla.org, And yep, here is the text field. You can see how to use it, what sort of attributions it has, etc. So you can uh, create your own uh, parameters and options within your template XML file, details XML file. And so this is the basic structure of the Joomla template. Now I will go further and I will create other folders. Let's duplicate this. This will be our config folder and CSS. HTML. HTML is very important for uh, overrides. and images folder for your images. Uh, let's duplicate. And if you have language files, you can store them in language folder. And finally, TPLs. Sorry. Yes, also your fave icon if you want. Yes. Uh, in our template, today I will demonstrate uh, how to create config files. First of all, let's see our helper PHP file. This is a helper uh, function where I get from uh, constructframework.com it's a really good framework for Joomla it, it was so inspiring for me there is a little function I don't want to go into details this function uh, detects the the uh, layout file automatically 
and fetch it into index.php file. You will see soon, don't worry. And I will have a config file. In this config file, I will create my variables. And let's put something into our index.php file right now. Like this. Yes. If we refresh the page, we will see a static content because we already have an index.php file, but we don't want to display a static content. So I will delete this and here let's copy this. Yes. Here we used our function from the helper PHP file. First of all, we of course we define check the or die. This is standard for Joomla. Uh, we import Joomla file system, and then we register our config file within config variable. So this is the path to the config file. And uh, if we have a config file, we include it, and then we fetch the uh, layout files. You will see it soon. And here is our config file. By the way, I will share all these uh, files and folders from GitHub so you can download them. This is how we get uh, application object from Joomla and get document object from Joomla. For example, we can use this doc variable like this doc add style sheet and then path to the CSS file. This will add the CSS file into our head part in the template. So uh, if you want to add uh, a JavaScript file instead of a CSS, this time you need to use add script instead of add style sheet. This is a very easy way to add CSS files into your templates. Also, you can add them directly in the head section, but this is easy way. Also, uh, you can create, as I told you before, we created some parameters here. For example, we have a bootstrap field in the template details XML file. Its name is bootstrap, and it's a radio button. button and uh, it has two options, enable and disable. Let's see how we used it in our config file. This is the bootstrap variable that we want to use. So you can get the options from your template detail XML file with this code. This params get a name of the field. So after registration, this variable, you can use it wherever you want in your template files. So now I will create, where is our TPLs files? Okay, stop case. Oh, I see. I will delete this one. Oops. I moved to trash. I'm looking for delete. Okay. Also delete this one. Yes. We have TPL's file, which I registered from the config file. Here. I have a variable TPLs, which is looking for template and TPLs folder, and then blocks variable, which is looking for TPLs and blocks uh, folder. So I created a default PHP file. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, in this file, I put all the uh, contents and uh, actually, instead of using index.php file, for the template for the site, I used default PHP file. Uh, so I edit the HTML heads here. Our HTML text starts here. And here is the Joomla standard standards, uh, include head. Uh, so whenever you add a CSS file from your config file, like this, it will be included directly into here. 
So you don't have to hard, co hard code here. And you can register your fav icon, our body tag. And here is what we used, uh, article IDs, item ID, cat ID, default, etc. All those variables are uh, created here. Sorry. In our config file. So if you check the source page, let's refresh this. See you. Yes, our body tag has those classes automatically. We get the language, we get the uh, component name, we get if this page is default page of the Joomla, and the item number if this is a com content, uh, article component. Yep. So here is the blocks folder. In this folder, we have PHP files. Uh, you can include those blocks within your default PHP with these codes. Include ones, blocks, and now PHP. So you can see now PHP within your default PHP file. You can, you can include all blocks. So whenever you need something to add your uh, layout, you can create a file into blocks uh, folder, and it will then if you register it in the default PHP file, it will be displayed on your site. Let's see what we have in now PHP. Yes, this is now PHP. I used a UI kit framework here. Yes, here you can find uh, now bar quotes. You can use Bootstrap if you want, but I wanted to show something different. This is UI kit. And you can copy this and paste into here. Uh, and at the end, when you refresh your page, you have something like this. Here we have uh, our logo part. Uh, as logo part, if you specify this code, base URL, this base URL, it will automatically uh, uh, display the uh, home page of your site. So you don't have to change URL all the time. So whenever you click here, it will go to home page. And then we have standard Joomla module uh, code. This code uh, includes a, a module named menu here. And But before adding this module into here, we need to check if there is a module published on that position because we don't want to display a blank area if there is no module there. So first of all, we have a condition if this count modules menu, that means if there is a module on the menu position, then echo out this one. Okay, then let's publish a module on the menu position. We already have by default. So just change the module position name save yes we have our menu displayed here um, also let's by the way this is this is the uh, what we will have at the end of the session so let's create the slideshow area here so we need to create a slideshow PHP in the blocks folder first of all and then we uh, edit standard Joomla checks. If there is a module published on the slideshow position, then display here. And this is the module uh, code. And let's go to admin panel, create a new custom HTML module. It's, it's slideshow. Let's copy this. Oh, I think the editor removes some HTML codes. So let's go to editor none. Editor. 
Oh yeah, it doesn't show complete area. Yeah, we have module. Also, let's add here. So we need a new module position. So you can create, I will name it top A. So you can create a top A module position here. Classic checks if there is a module on the top A, display it. And then we, we register it here. Display top A in the default PHP. And if we create a new module, Yes, we have the codes in that position. Do you have any question until that point? Uh, and as I said, you can put every content, every code in your index.php file. But uh, you will see soon that you can create alternative layout files and you can um, use them on different menu items easily with this way. I will show it to you. Sure. Sometimes, for example, from right to left languages, you may need to some different styles, different CSS, and that's why you. That's why we include the language tag. Yeah. Sometimes it's useful. Yeah. So let's check our work, and we have this module position. We can edit. So we need to create top P. You can name it whatever you want again. And in this file, we have our module position. And I registered it in the default PHP file. And you can create your module. Yes, here we have. So that goes on, same. So what about including our component area? Because at the moment, we only have modules on our home page. We don't display component area. So for that reason, I can create a main PHP file. And in this file, I will include the message. This will display the uh, system errors and notifications from Joomla. So it's better to have this one. Uh, I have grids from UIKit framework here, div class. So finally, I have component area. This will include your components into your layout, this code. But before that, I need to check uh, if there is a right sidebar module position, because if you have right sidebar module position, you don't want to display the component with whole, whole area. Uh, so. First of all, I create the right module. I give it UK with medium one of four. If you wonder about it, you can see from the UI kit grid. These are the classes, just like bootstraps one. So um, if there is a right module position, it will have one of four uh, white. Uh, otherwise, our component area, this, this, here is a PHP uh, condition. If there is a right module position, it has uh, three or four uh, white. Uh, mm, yes, white. Otherwise, it will display the whole area in the layout. So I will also include the main PHP file in my default PHP file. And now I can go to. Joomla administration panel. 
I can create an, an article because we don't have. Let's get some content. Etc. And let's make it featured because our home main menu is featured articles. Refresh. Uh, oh, sorry. Yes, here is our article. So this is how you can in include your components area into your template. And then you can create other uh, modules, unlimited modules you can create as you want. And now I want to display, sometimes you need to uh, have your home page only modules, not component area. But you want to display them uh, in your pages. Let's create another menu item. It's block. Yes. Now we have our menu. We display article here, component here, and we also have here. But what if we don't want to display the component area on the home page? There is no such a feature in Joomla core, but we can handle it with our template uh, config. Here we have a uh, setting here. This object gets the active menu from Joomla and the language. If it's uh, the default menu item, I can use this variable wherever I want. Also, I created another one, and this one checks if the template in the template this setting is. Yes, hide component area. I have a radio boot button in the template XML file. If you uh, have yes on that setting, it checks it. And if it's a default uh, menu item, it won't display the uh, component area in the default PHP file. So here is it. If it is not output, then display this area. But if it is default and output, then don't display the component area. So if I click yes and refresh the page, I don't have component area on the home page, but I have component area in the inner pages. Sure. Uh, I used to use this method also to hide component element on the home page, but there is one dangerous aspect about it. If the menu if you have a link to some type of content and it's missing the item ID, yeah. it wants to display the content on the default page. And you go to the component, so yeah. you will never display. And yeah. that's mainly, uh, it happens a lot of users to search for it. So it's yes. really dangerous. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's the point. Uh, some modules have uh, item ID option in their settings. So you can define a module item ID, sorry, menu item ID. Then it will be displayed on that menu. But you are right, sometimes it's dangerous. So, uh, but you can, I have a solution for that too. I will display it soon. I will display it now. Let's come, let's come to the uh, layouts. Yes, we have one, one default PHP file. We have one default PHP file, one layout. But we can have other layouts too. It's very easy. This is why I don't use index PHP file directly. Let's duplicate the default PHP file. And you can name it whatever you want. Let's name it alter. And I will open it. From this layout, I will remove slideshow top A and top B blocks. Also top C. So on alter PHP file, I only have navigation, component area, bottom A and bottom B positions. Save it, and let's go to um, template details XML file. Here I have a field. 
this field is a its type is file list you can go to Juma documentation again yes here is the file list field you can see all attributions all options available here type name label directory etc and here is my field its name is layouts so in my config file I registered it like this these params get layout and use it as layout variable and uh, the, the default value is default you can name it whatever you want again uh, the label the directory this is the important part as you can see I have TPL directory and blocks sorry TPS directory uh, and I store my layouts in that directory alter PHP and default is in the are in the TPS directory so I need to define it here whenever you change your templates name you need to change this to otherwise it cannot detect the files so I comment that uh, this field will filter only PHP files not the other files so and also this option makes it avail possible that it will strip the file extension name so i will uh, this field will automatically detect all php files but it won't display the php extension name so if we check our templates options here is the layout field we have alter here automatically because it takes automatically but it doesn't display the PHP file extension it's a very easy to use uh, option and it comes with Joomla by default so what if let's uh, where is it yeah let's remove this check as you said and we have main PHP file in our default PHP so it is the, the component area will be displayed always in the default PHP file. But in alter PHP file, I will remove this condition again. And I also will remove the main PHP file. So, no, I will remove from default one, sorry. So, our default layout doesn't have component area, but our alter layout has the component area here so I will come to here and I will duplicate my template yes name it whatever you want I will make it inner pages and from my settings I will choose alter and before saving it make sure that you assign your template to menu item yes now if I refresh the home page I don't have component area but if I click on the block menu I have component area I think this is the better uh, way to display the component area so I don't know if you are out of time okay oh it's fast <laughs> I didn't expect that so if you have questions yeah sure yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be because I I worked until today on that file, so it will be available in a few days. I I hope. So when you turn back to home, you will get it. Uh, do you have any code inside the template to remove the default JavaScript that are loaded? Oh yes, you can unset them. We talked with. Um, I don't know if I used here. Mm, yes, I didn't use. Uh, there is an unset um, code for Joom for Joomla. Do you do you remember it? What's the code? Yes, I don't also don't remember by heart. But there is an unset option for Joomla, so you can unset the uh, any JavaScript li uh, file or CSS files with that code. But I want to show that here is another option. In my template settings, I have load sorry load Joomla UI. 
is it's a radio button and here is it here it is if uh, load UI is yes if it is enabled then in load Joomla's own uh, bootstrap framework bootstrap library so if a user choose no for this sorry this one uh, Joomla's core bootstrap library won't be load won't be loaded it won't be displayed on your template it won't be used also uh, I can talk more, more about the how to add style sheets to your template as I said you can use this code and you can define your path to the CSS files or JavaScript files also you can use remote files too for example if you want to use bootstrap 3 on your template but if you don't want to store your files locally you can use the same doc at style sheets but this time you will give the url yes yes uh, if i can add um you can also um, add uh, um, an extra parameter behind it so okay here sorry yes and then it's loaded at the end of the page oh i didn't know that well it doesn't work for Mm -hmm. Some things have to be loaded before. Uh, sure. Loading. But it's in the documentation website. It says how you can use it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So if you have remote uh, files, you don't have to store them locally. You can include them with the URLs here. And if you want, you can make them optional for your customers or for your own. You can create a uh, option in your template XML for details XML file and if they choose load font awesome or bootstrap then it will include those files otherwise it won't include them yes for our own templates we use Warp framework and naturally UIKit framework and we really the, why we use Warp framework because of UIKit uh, but I think so. It's very advanced features. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the UI Kit website, by the way. It's familiar to Bootstrap, but it I think it has more better uh, features. Um, so, would you like to go? Would you like to continue? Because I have something to more show. Yes. This is for the sponsor. Yes, sure. If you want to make your uh, images uh, adaptive, so it's a small uh, uh, site, mm -hmm. there's a nice uh, uh, plugin called uh, User Rate Detector. Yes, so you can tell all about it. Okay, this. sure. But you can use the background for the image for the response. Yes, I think the whole thing will be done, but it will be just a small and if you use a plugin, you can. Uh, Yes, as you can see, we have off canvas bar here, and it's very beautiful. I really like it. I can show you how to use it if you want. Uh, here is on Get UI Kit website. Off canvas is coming with the core here. You can get those codes from the website. So on our How do you handle um, uh, the fact that Joomla 3, uh, the HTML output of Joomla 3 is always Joomla 2 based? Oh, it's... So how do you handle that? Uh, do you have to create a lot of overrides to, to make the HTML output to fight more? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really serious trouble for us, for template makers. <laughs> yes, it's, it's a really big trouble. Uh, but since we use Warp Framework, it already unset the bootstrap. So uh, but while when, when we used t uh, 3 framework, we have Bootstrap 2, we have Bootstrap 3 in the plugin of framework, we have again Bootstrap 3 in the template, and we then overwrite it. So it was a nightmare for us. So why we switched to far framework is that reason. Is, is, is there somewhere uh, have you guys somewhere share or build or somewhere uh, your default set of overrides to have all the platforms? Oh, that's a good idea. We can do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, sure. We can do something if you contact with me from Twitter or something. We can organize something. <laughs> yeah. So here is the off canvas. Uh, I created another module position. That's standard Joomla module position code. And I name it off canvas. This is the standard markup from the UI kits. You, you can get it from their website here. And also, uh, this is the link to activate off, off canvas bar. So, but I will check again if there is a module published on the uh, module position, then display it. Otherwise, don't display. So, uh, here is the result. You have a beautiful off canvas bar. And also, uh, thanks to classes, responsive classes, you can display this off canvas from the wider screens and you can display it only on the uh, mobile screens. Thus, you have uh, a menu, a responsive, uh, mobile friendly menu. So they can tap on the uh, hamburger icon and they will have the uh, off canvas bar within a menu within it. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Or which which JavaScript? From from this setting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that exactly, but I think so. I think so. But we should check it again to give an exact answer for that. Yeah. Sorry? Uh, sorry. Sorry, I couldn't understand. <laughs> 